Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamu alaikum. I hope that you all are doing well at your homes. This is week 2 and day 4 of class 9 physics and today we are going to solve the numerical problems of unit number 4. As you know that in your previous class that you have done the numerical problems from unit number uh, 4.1 to 4.5. So today we will do the remaining numerical problems that are 4.6 to 4.10. So let's start with the statement of the first numerical 4.6 and the statement is the steering of the car has a radius of 16 centimeter find the torque that is produced by a couple of 50 newton they said there is a car and the steering of the car's radius is represented by r and the radius is 16 centimeter and we have to find out the torque now, as we know from the formula of couple that the couple is equal to the either force multiplied by the perpendicular distance between these forces, which is and the perpendicular distance, which is momentum, is represented by L. So the radius from the center to the for, uh, either end of the force is equal to 16 centimeter so to convert it into meters I'll divide it by 100 which will be equals to 0.16 meter now momentum is was the perpendicular distance between both forces which is represented by L and it is equals to the double of the radius or we can also say it as a diameter so L is equals to 2R R was 0.16 so 2 multiplied by 0.16 it will be equal to 0.32 meter force was 50 newton and we have to find out the torque now as we know torque is equals to force cross l where l is the moment arm so by putting the values from the above data we will get the answer of torque that is 16 newton meter next statement we have is 4.7 and the statement is a picture frame is hanging by two vertical strings. The tension in the strings are 3.8 Newton and 4.4 Newton. Find the weight of the picture frame. There is a picture frame which is hanged by two strings. T1, uh, two strings here. This is the first one and this is the second one. That There will be tension produced in each string. Let's say the tension produced in first string is represented by T1 and the tension produced in the second string is represented by T2. These tensions will be balanced with the weight of the picture frame which is acting in a downward direction. And we have to find out the weight of the picture frame. So T1 was 3.8 meter, T2 was 4.4 meter, 4.4 newton. And the tension of the picture frame is what we have to find now as you can see that the body is in equilibrium it means that there is no net force act on it so to satisfy this first condition of equilibrium it will be sum of forces is equal to zero or sigma f is equal to zero now the tension was tension in the string were acting in the positive y-axis so it will be plus t and the weight of the body is acting in the negative y-axis. So it will be represented as minus w and it is equals to 0. Now the resultant tension is the addition of these two tensions. So we can write it as T1 plus T2. Now to move, we will move the weight in the opposite side and we will get it as T1 plus T2 is equal to w. By putting the values of T1 and T2 in this equation, we will get the answer of the weight that is 8.2 Newton, which is needed to balance the picture frame. Moving on to 4.8 numerical problem, the statement is the two blocks of masses 5 kg and 3 kg are suspended at by the two strings as shown in the figure. We have to find out the tension in each string. So there are two blocks. Let's say I represent the uh, larger block as capital M 
and the smaller block as small m. And we have to find out the tension producing these two strings. So mass of the larger block is 5 kg and mass of the smaller block is 3 kg. The tension producing each strings is that we have to find. Now as you can see here, the tension produced in the string is balanced by the weight of the blocks. So tension is equal to the force which is equal to the weight of the body or weight of the block. And we know the formula of weight is equal to mg. For T2, tension produced in this string. As you can see here, the tension produced will be balanced by the weight of this block which is the smaller block. Now T2 is equals to mg. Mass was 3 kg, smaller block. And gravitational acceleration, we know the value of gravitational acceleration is 10 meter per second square. So T2 will be equals to 30 Newton. For T1, the tension produced here will be balanced by the weight of these two blocks. The tension produced here will be balanced by the collective weight of these blocks. So we will add these two weights. It will be mg, capital Mg plus small mg. By taking g as common and putting the value of capital M, small m and gravitational acceleration, we will get the answer of tension and T1 is equals to 80 Newton. So the tension produced in each string, that is T1, will be 80 Newton and for T2, it will be 30 Newton. Next numerical problem we have here is 4.9. And the statement of this numerical is, a nut has been tightened by a force of 200 Newton using 10 centimeter long spanner what length of the spanner is required to loosen the nut, same nut with 150 Newton force. So there is a nut and it has been tightened by a force which is F1 of 200 Newton. They said the moment arm between the force and the axis of rotation is 10 centimeter. Or we can also say the length of the spanner is 10 centimeter and it is represented by L1. They said if I have to loosen the same nut and I am applying a force of 150 Newton, what will be the moment arm of this spanner or what will be the length of this spanner? So from the statement, we can collect the data that F1 was 200 Newton, moment arm of the first spanner was 10 centimeter. So to convert it into meter, I will divide it by 100, which will be equals to 0.1 meter. And to loosen the nut, F2 is equals to 150 meter Newton. And we have to find out the length of the spanner, that is L2. Now, from the principle of moments, we know that clockwise moments is equal to anti-clockwise moments, which is tor1 is equal to tor2. The formula of torque is equal to force multiplied by moment arm. So, F1 multiplied by L1 and for tor2 is equal to F2 multiplied by L2. So by putting the value of F1, L1 and F2 in the above equation and rearrange this equation, we will get the answer of the length of the spanner. We can say moment arm of the spanner, which is 0.13 meter. Now to convert the meter into centimeter, we have to multiply by 100. Sorry, I have... Uh, done a mistake here you can correct it that to convert meters into centimeter we will multiply it by 100 and you will get the answer of moment arm in centimeters why i have convert the moment arm into centimeters because 
in question the movement arm of uh, to lose so to tighten the nut was 10 centimeters and it was also in centimeters so i to um, what can we say to loosen the same nut i have also convert the movement arm into centimeters now the last numerical problem we have is 4.10 it is the block of mass 10 kg suspended by a distance at a distance of 20 cm from the center of a uniform bar 1 meter long what force is required to balance at its center of gravity by applying the force at the other end of the bar they said there is a bar whose length is 1 meter or we can say 1 meter is equals to 100 cm they said it will be balanced at its center the center will be the middle point or the long bar will be balanced at its middle point which is the center of gravity so 100 half of 100 cent, uh, centimeters is equals to 50 centimeters so we can say 50 centimeters on the left hand side and 50 centimeters on the right hand side now they said there is a block whose mass is 10 kg and it is suspended at a distance of 20 centimeters from the center so let's say this is the, the distance which I represented by L1 and from the center it is 20 centimeter now they said that I have to balance the other end of the bar how much force I'll apply or how much weight I'll hang to put uh, to put at the other end of the bar to balance that bar. So the mass of the block was 10 kg. The movement arm from the center to uh, the to that block is 20 centimeter which is represented by L1 and same to convert it into meters I'll divide it by 100 length of the bar was one newton there is one meter now the moment arm from the center to the other end of the bar is 50 centimeters because 50 centimeter on the left hand side and 50 centimeters on the right hand side and we have said that the weight is hanged at the other end of the bar so obviously the moment arm of w2 will be 50 centimeters so in meters it will be 0.5 meters now what force I will be required to balance the bar that is W2. Now we know that by applying the principle of moments clockwise moments is equal to anti-clockwise moments. So tau is equals to tau 1 is equals to tau 2 and tau 1 will be F1 cross L1 which is equals to tau 2 of uh, which is F2 multiplied by L2. Now F1 is the weight of the block which is acting in the downward direction and the formula of the weight is mg. So I'll simply write F1 as replace F1 as mg. Now by rearranging this equation we will say that F1 is equal to mg multiplied by L1 divided by L2 because L2 was here. Now when I move that L2 on the next side it was multiplied here when I move it on the other side it will be divided but putting the values of m g l1 and l2 from the above data we will get the answer of force 2 which is required to balance the bar and it is equals to 40 newton so these were the numerical problems of unit number 4 and that was all for today now your assignment is to do the written practice of these numerical problems and stay safe and stay healthy that's all for today and Allah Hafiz